Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bateson87. Today we'll be looking at something which was released, well mentioned last week uh, when FIFA 16 was at Gamescom and it is the brand new game mode which is Foot Draft. Now guys, if you know what I've been doing um, when I was at Gamescom, I was actually playing FIFA 16 Ultimate Team with some other YouTubers as well and I was able to get my hands on Foot Draft as well as a lot of other things including packs, um, including playing games, mainly opening packs because they load up the accounts of millions and millions of coins and also loads of fee points as well so it's unlimited amounts of packs to try out but the foot draft game mode is one of the game modes which you guys seem to be most interested in on twitter i do have an exclusive interview with two of the ea producers coming later on in the week um talking a little bit about it well talking a bit about it a little bit more um and a little bit more in depth as well as a lot of you guys are still unsure about a few little things about it so today we're going to be looking at it in depth i'm going to give you my opinion on it and um, how it works talking about a few more things and hopefully you guys will let me know in the comment section below how you enjoy it and what you think of what you've saw uh, seen so far, including Jamie Carragher and obviously uh, Gary Neville advert, which was absolutely ridiculous. So guys, we're trying to hit over 6,000 likes. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And if you do want any MSP, PSN codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. So, the foot draft mode costs, I think it was 15,000 coins or 300 FIFA points to be entered into it. Now, the foot draft is a four game maximum mode. Now, more than likely, you are not going to get a team chemistry of 100. The reason that is, is because you've got to select individually each, each position. So, on the screen, you get, um, the, first, the first screen you get is to select formation. You select formation. The next one is to choose a, um, a captain. Now, you Usually this is the highest rated players you can get. Now in my captain selection, actually, the few times I did do it, I got a Ronaldo, I got a Messi, and I also got a legend, and I can't remember which legend it was. Um, or whether they get another legend, but it wasn't actually in the captain selection. So more than likely you're going to choose Messi or Ronaldo. You would select him, it would put him in the position they are playing. So Ronaldo would go left wing, and uh, Messi would go right wing, depending on his form well, position. Uh, when the game comes out, I think he was actually centre forward on the uh, version we were, were playing, but on the screen you obviously see him as a right wing midfielder but you select your captain you then go back to the goalkeeper and work your way up so the goalkeeper could be a bronze it could be a silver it could be a bunch of golds it may not necessarily be the same leagues which Messi is in and that's why it makes the foot draft so much fun now there is something interesting I don't know if you guys know about this but Every time a fresh team of the week comes out and another team of the week comes out and another team of the week comes out and maybe even team of the year comes out, if you play the game come January or February, you have a chance of getting the full back catalogue of all the players which have been released in Ultimate Team. All the man of the matches, all the team of the years, all the informs are available in foot draft for you to get, not dependent on the week. So the chances of you getting, say, like well, one of the players I got actually was left back Roberto Carlos uh, that is a legend card now if obviously EA had released in forms already I may have had the chance of getting a team of the year player in there and even some in form versions but because obviously it was a pre-release uh, version of the game I was unable to do so but I like that idea. Now, a lot of people don't have a lot of coins. That is a given. Everyone's like that. Not a lot of people like spending coins um, or even buying FIFA points. That's a given as well. But this game mode, I think the most positive thing about it is the fact that you guys get to play with some of the players that you may not be able to afford. They may be completely extinct. You get to try them out um, in the maximum of four games. Now, I say maximum of four games, it goes into a knockout stage. There is the first game. You, it's basically like a tournament. You play the quarterfinals, the semi-finals and the final, plus the round of 16. Yeah, so you're basically playing four games. And what EA want to do is for every how much money you put in, the 15,000 coins, the rewards you get after each thing um, should represent that. So you get more money back. Um, well, you should get more than the 15k you put in as a, a way to entice you to play it. Injuries. That could be a problem. There is no injury healing card. So say you had Harry Kane, for example, as a striker. You need him. He's a brilliant striker. Um... I think he's a brilliant striker anyway. Well, some people may not think so. But if he gets injured, he has he is injured for the duration of the games, unfortunately. There is no um, injury cards, there is no stamina cards, 
that I know. I don't think you can apply con consumables to these players. Um, so you're basically you're gonna have to sw uh, swap and swap out to try and get the best chemistry. Uh, and uh, well, dependent on stamina and also injuries. Now after that, there's like four stages. I don't think I've got any screens here. Um, there is like a bronze ball, there is a silver ball, there's a gold ball, then there's a blue ball, which is like the platinum and the end of it. Now when you unlock it, you unlock these uh, special packs. Now what the EA producers want to give you is a chance to get packs which aren't actually on the store currently. Uh, like so the mega packs, the 50k packs, the uh, 100k packs possibly and um it sounds good. Now, foot draft mode is going to be brilliant for streamers. I'm going. To, I'm looking forward to doing it on stream. Uh, I'm also looking forward to doing a YouTube series on it as well, depending on how that was go. But I want to know the thoughts which you guys have. Um, well, ha well, the thoughts you guys think that foot draft is going to be for you. Do you think it's going to be beneficial? You, do you like the game mode? Are you going to spend all the time playing it? Because I can see me spending quite a lot of time playing it. Now, obviously, after the four games, you start again with a fresh new foot draft team, and then you start the process again. And and again and again. Now I'm a sucker for online tournaments. This is going to fill my void and obviously it gives you a bit of a challenge trying to get the best chemistry and uh, also it depends on your player selection as well. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, like it, we very much appreciate it. Let me know what you think of all the other game modes which have come into, well, all the other game modes, all the other features coming to FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. And let me know if you want me to do any other videos on anything else um, come the next couple of days. So guys, leave a like rating, try and help with 6,000 likes, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and also ignore some of the pictures which you are seeing in this because... Um, Gerard doesn't link with Alaba and Kagawa doesn't link with Harry Kane. It was a bit of a boo boo on EA's part, uh, but shit happens, doesn't it? So, guys, leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not, and we're back another time, another day, another video for you guys to enjoy.